Hello everyone and welcome to my first Blender game video tutorial series part 8. My name is Guillaume Côté and this part being the last part of the series we won't use it to learn something new instead we will use it to take a look at all the features we currently have in our game and all the tools we have learned to work with. We will also use it to take a look at what we could do next, how we could improve this game, what type of game we could try to make and we will I will also use it to ask you some questions on the series itself so let us get started by talking about the features we currently have in the game well currently we have a walk setup that lets our character move around the scene and collide with everything nicely we have a jump setup that lets our character jump once and even twice we have collectible objects that disappear when we collect them. We have an head-up head -up display that let us that let us see if we have collected the objects and in how many numbers. We also have a time counter and a life bar, life bar that will decrease whenever we touch the enemy, which will send us into an invincible state. So that's convenient and we have menus and we even have game over menus which is really great really great and doing all this we have learned on logic bricks we have learned on properties we have learned on animations actions messages scene states we have learned on real time bitmap text objects which are very useful and powerful and about some other logic bricks that I haven't named. Also, so no, not also, but knowing all that, you should now be able to create your own game and should now be self sufficient doing it. So that's a great news, and I hope you are proud of it and happy about it. However, know that there are still a lot of things to learn on the Blender game engine. For example, the game as it is right now is very dull and could definitely be improved uh, by changing the modeling or adding some textures to it. The light setup is also very simple and could easily be improved. As for the animation, that could be improved by adding some more animations. For example, a hurt animation or a falling animation could improve the quality of our game. And also, we could improve the quality of our animations as they are currently very simple. Finally, we could add some mechanics to our game, for example, a, a jump wall or a power up subjects could be a great mechanic to add to our game, or we could even try to create a completely new game, for example, a first person shooter or a racing game. Finally, we could also try to learn how to create Python scripts by ourselves. And you might wonder why is this so important to know about Python? And the reason and for this there are two reasons that explain it. The first one is to understand and the second one is to create. It is important to understand because if you use a Python script made by someone else and that the script isn't working as you want, if you don't understand the Python API, you won't be able to modify it. And it is important to know the Python scripting to create, because at one point, at one point or another, the logic bricks won't give you all the power that you would like to have. They are very powerful and will let you do a lot of things, but there are some precise things that it is only doable with a Python script and if you don't know how to create one, you will be limited in your game design. And speaking of all these ways to improve the game, it makes me wonder what truly interests you. Uh, and since you have watched all the series, uh, all the series to completely, and all the parts, I would really appreciate if you would leave a comment telling me what you would like to learn next, what interest you what you think would be great that I do a tutorial on it and 
what you have appreciated the most in the series and what you think could be improved in it, so that the next one will be even better. Finally, I want to thank you for watching all this, and I definitely appreciate and wish that you have appreciated the series. Um, this is all, so have a great day, have a great Christmas time if you are celebrating it, and have a happy new year. Goodbye.